Hello. Uh, let me explain the basics of the dashboard. So we actually explained in quite deep details, but we didn't explain uh, the basics of the menu settings. Before we go into very deep, just a highlight. So you have a menu on the top and you have menu on the right and you have menu on the bottom. So menu on the top, uh, okay, some files. We can check their folders. Uh, view is the most intense one. So table of distance or oscilloscope is used for uh, monitoring the signal, ultrasonic signal between beacons and channel oscilloscope is the same, uh, but it is selecting sensors. So it means that uh, oscilloscope is uh, uh, measuring the strength of their signal of whatever sensors are selected, and channel is basically switching on and off all the sensors and uh, measures all the combinations. For example, if I measure the strength of the signal between beacon 13 and beacon 6, so it will turn on uh, sensor 4 on beacon 13, and uh, step by step uh, switch on each of the sensor on sense on beacon six. So first RX1, RX2, RX3, RX4, RX5. Then it turns back, and then now number six will have on the sensor four activated, on, and all other sensors will be deactivated. And uh, uh, already beacon uh, 13 will have Rx1 on, and then Rx2 on, and then Rx3 on, Rx4, and Rx5. Also, altogether, there will be 10 measurements. So that was the end channel oscilloscope. Ultrasonic or ultrasonic sound self calibration is used for uh, finding the optimal gain in the system. Uh, so when you run it, uh, you can, so it basically works like this. And then you start. And then it choose the gain for each of the combination. When Rx1 is only enabled, then Rx2 only enabled, all the combinations. So it's used once for each particular uh, beacon. Uh, when you do self-calibration, make sure that it's not noisy, because it's basically measuring the noise, self-noise. But if I have uh, external noise, then it will affect the calibration. So make it in a noiseless environment. After you do, you just save and close. Or if you don't want to save, just erase or close without saving. Erase will return to this default setting. So self-calibration is used once. We do ship uh, beacons self-calibrated. Uh, but if you have uh, something and you want to self-calibrate, go ahead, run. Threshold is basically the limit of self-calibration with this noise. If the threshold is lower, the gain will be lower uh, because it's easy to achieve the threshold. Uh, then, uh, beacon score calibration, I don't remember actually, it's quite uh, advanced feature. Accelerometer data, mobile beacons, they have EMU installed, some of them, and accelerometer data is basically data from the accelerometer. Accelerometer calibration, okay, it's advanced, Gyroscope data the same, but about the accelerometer uh, gyroscope. Compass uh, data, again, when EMU is installed, you can get the data about accelerometer, gyroscope, and, uh, and uh, compass. Uh, ultrasonic, ultrasound sent is these, these dots. And uh, symbolic dashboard, you can disable, enable, and uh, there are many, quite a few. So point is that use this view when you need uh, let's say deeper look. Firmware is easy, so if you need to upgrade the software, you select it and then you choose the software file, hex file to upgrade. The substrate uh, is possible to uh, load substrate, basically a map of floor plan to this and then basically move one of the beacons uh, to the right point and then the second one to the right point and basically you can position the station beacons on the map. So uh, that was about uh, top menu. So the bottom menu is very easy, it's just number of, oh, let's say, beacons. So what you need to remember is the modem view and each of the beacons view. There is a scroll, so you can choose up to 99 beacons at the moment. 
important that you can save the map, basically this view, load the map and erase the map. And it's also important to see here. So when you have dots timeout 50, 50 seconds means that when you move their uh, mobile beacon, the dots will last for 50 seconds. If you don't need such a long one, you can reduce it to one, two, five, whatever seconds. Or you can freeze the map, freeze the screen in this case, or save the screen. Basically, whatever you view, you can save, freeze. It frees, but it doesn't save. Remember about this part, uh, for example, new the, the dashboard. So uh, at the moment, since we are in the development phase, uh, the dashboard seems to be outdated as compared to their uh, latest software, which has uh, been used. So, and the system basically reporting to you that the dashboard is newer, basically indicating uh, that there could be a problem with their software. So you must not have anything like this when you use it normally. Uh, if you have it, so there is a high chance of software mismatch. So always use the software from the pack dashboard plus beacon plus modem software from the same pack. Uh, the most advanced menu is of course a menu on the right. Uh, what you can have? So first of all, you can have for modem and you can have for beacon. For modem, uh, starting beacon. Starting beacon trilateration means that, uh, example now beacon 13, was since the, the zero so system select automatically beacon 13 but but I can set it manually for example beacon 12 can be a starting beacon uh, probably it works only when the map is unfrozen so let me unfreeze the map so I unfreeze the map as you see now beacon 2 or 12 is a starting beacon here so I once again freeze the map um, so starting set of beacons is this one, then 13, so it's kind of internal thing. Location update rate, okay, it's location update rate. You can choose between different location updates. Uh, default is eight hertz, is the most stable, fast enough, but still doesn't produce any kind of echo. Maximum speed is a limit, internal limit uh, to prevent ultrasonic jumps. Basically, it's uh, one of the filters we are using. Window of averaging is the parameter uh, when when we're showing the uh, location is, is basically uh, averaging between uh, previous measurement and future measurement or current measurement with some weights. Uh, if you have zero, so it will be the fastest update uh, and lowest latency, but at the same time, uh, the biggest dispersion. Uh, if you have 16, then you will have slowest or lowest uh, latency, or we say highest latency and uh, lowest update rate, but the most precise one. For example, uh, with 16, we can achieve up to three millimeter sigma. Uh, there's another filtering, one of those high resolution millimeters. So uh, it's for backward compatibility. We used to have resolution up to centimeters. Now we have up to millimeters and it is by default. Supply voltage, basically supply voltage with the modem. This is the time from the reset. This is external temperature. You can set default 23 degrees. Uh, so RSSI is strength of radio signal in dBMs. So it's recommended to have it. Uh, okay, for modem, it's, it's not relevant because modem is measuring against, uh, but for beacons, it is relevant. For example, modem hears uh, beacon 10 with RSSI minus 45. It's a good one. It's pretty strong signal. Uh, don't uh, keep it more than minus 20 because the signal will be too strong and the beacon will be saturated. Uh, when it goes below 80, there is a very high chance of failure and you can see they're failed here. A number of packets, or was it? ratio percentage of failed packets. So the good range is between, let's say, 20 to 70. 80 is still okay, 90 probably already almost dropping in most cases. But it also depends on other parameters. We will be moving deeper. Uh, so back to the beacons. Uh, so this is a central frequency. So now we are, choosing, uh, we are using uh, channel one 
and channel one carrier frequency. So this is the frequency where uh, the system works now. So this is the frequency. Uh, I will go to a separate um, in more details about radio settings, uh, then about interface settings, about georeferencing. Uh, so let's not go deeper into these details now. Uh, limitation of distance is also very important. So now uh, the system calculates where to measure uh, ultrasonic automatically based on some formula depending on these distances. Uh, it gives you, uh, in most cases, the most optimal update rate because it's all about the update rate. If you choose it manually, then you must select uh, the right one. For example, 10 for this would be wrong because you have distances up to 12 meters. So it means that uh, it will not listen to the distances more than 10 meters. So it means that there will be areas where there, the system will simply not work because uh, the system will not uh, wait more than uh, 10 divided by speed of sound. Uh, so it will be more limited than this. So you better make it 15 or 12, uh, 20 meters or keep it uh, automatic. Uh, map gluing, frankly speaking, I don't remember. Uh, Submap shifts, it's very important uh, when you will be doing the submaps. So it, it's more advanced. And submap rotating, uh, we already discussed in the previous, so you can rotate the submap against against the axis. So that was their settings for modem. Uh, for beacons is uh, more or less the same. So hedgehog mode, so it means that if it's disabled, so the beacon is in stationary mode. If it's enabled, this beacon, the six beacon, will be a mobile beacon and will be traceable. So basically we are saying by these settings, click, click, uh, where to switch from uh, mobile beacon mode to station beacon. Supply voltage, monitor the supply voltage. Normal voltage is between 3.6 to 4.1, 4.2. When it goes below 3.6, this becomes yellow and there will be warning that uh, voltage is lower than recommended. And when it goes to 3.5, the system will save the battery and basically shut down. So keep the voltages right. Height. You need to set the height. So if you keep all the beacons on the same height and you don't worry about the absolute Z settings, absolute height settings, then you can keep whatever height here. You will have a constant error, uh, but still you will have a good uh, Z measurement, but with the constant error. For example, here, this beacon 12 has X, Y, 0, 0 coordinates and Z is 1.8, 1 1.85, 1 1.85, 1 1.85, 1.85. 1 1 so all of them are on the same height. If you have different heights, you need to put heights manually for each beacon. But for starting, we really recommend to keep the heights the same. It's, it will simplify your life for the beginning. So time from the reset is once again, time from the reset. I uh, can make a reset. I think like this, it will also change, most probably. Uh, well, maybe in sleep mode, it doesn't work. Oh no, it works in sleep mode as well. Uh, so time from the reset starts ticking. So measure temperature. There is internal measurement, uh, but it's not very precise because it, it's measuring temperature of the crystal, uh, which is higher than the ambient temperature. So it's not so good for, let's say, air measurement, a temperature measurement. So just for information, but not more. RSSI, very important parameter as we discussed. So keep it between minus 20 and minus 70, minus 80. When it's more than minus 20, then you will start dropping their packets because the signal is too strong. When it's below, then most probably it will be dropping simply because the signal is too weak. So the same central frequency device address is very important device address because if you don't know the device address, you will not be able to operate with the beacon, wake up the beacon. So always know the device address channel. Also very important. You can click, click, click between channels, but if you are trying to wake up the beacon or communicate with the beacon on a different channel, uh, basically it will not hear you. And channel directly affects their frequency. So carrier frequency is basically a result of these settings. Minimum threshold uh, used to be a very important parameter for ultrasonic, now it's not so much and probably it will disappear in the future. 
So in some uh, other uh, additional videos, I will explain the parameters of radio. Pretty big one, this why they're hidden. But basically these are settings. The most important one is of course the radio profile. So now the beacons and modems are talking on 500 kilobit per second, which gives you highest update rate. Uh, but at the same time is the most uh, acceptable for external noise, for example, and the least sensitivity. So the distance in radio will be the lowest possible. 38 is on opposite side, so it gives you the highest sensitivity in radio, uh, but the least update rate. For example, with 500 kilobit per second, you can achieve up to 40 hertz update rate in the system. Uh, but with 38 kilobit per second, due to limitations of radio interface, the highest update rate is around 9 hertz. So keep this in mind. Ultrasonic, uh, ultrasound, uh, there are many settings. Once again, I will be explaining in details and other parameters. Uh, they're not so complex, but they're quite many. And the interfaces, uh, again, it's pretty simple. It's UART interface settings towards uh, external because each beacon has plenty of interfaces and UART and SPI are explained here. Um, reset. So if you choose, press this we call software reset as opposite to the hardware reset button. Sleep. You can send by pressing this button, you can send any of these to sleep, which is we call it sleep as opposite to the deep sleep. In deep sleep, if you send, it will not listen to their uh, radio at all, and you will not be able to wake up their, uh, their beacon any way except for hardware reset. Deep sleep is good when you want to get rid of uh, some beacon when you have, for example, uh, address duplication or you want just to shelf their beacon for a long, long time. Wake up is opposite to sleep. You can sleep and wake up, but if you deep sleep, then you will not be able to wake up. Time sync, I don't remember, I need to recall it. A default is very important one. When you get the, uh, the beacon and connect, for example, when you just got the system and connect the beacon via USB, uh, the most important for you is to upgrade the software, uh, then uh, press default and default settings will be uploaded to the system. So you always do that, it will save you a lot of time because you will always start with default settings, the most proven, the most uh, safe for you. Uh, another uh, very important trick is uh, pressing control. When you have, when you are pressing control, you see some of those become bold. So bold means that uh, this will be available for all beacons in the system. For example, if I choose beacon 10 and press reset, so all beacons will be reset, not only beacon 10. If I choose uh, control, press control and sleep, all beacons will go to sleep. If I press control and press wake up, all beacons which were previously sent to sleep and have this tick enabled, will wake up. And uh, another interesting one, for example, if I choose settings of this beacon, like changing these settings or any other settings, press Ctrl and write all settings from this beacon 10 will be uh, duplicated to each of these beacons. So each beacons will have the same settings as currently beacon number 10. So use it if you want uh, to have the same settings from uh, one of the beacons to basically copy it to, to the system. Um, I think that's it for now. Uh, and more details will be coming in other videos. Thank you.